Hello, 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 hello. Hi. <laughs> hello and welcome back. Welcome back to your friendly neighbor, Noob, and I'm Noobert. Hi. Hi there. How you doing? <laughs> and today we're back with Hourglass SMP. And it is raining and miserable and sad. I love it. <laughs> And today we're going to be working on the district, the entertainment district. Uh, we're going to getting, be getting as much as we can done, but I, I, I don't know how much exactly. We're going to try. We're going to put our face right into it and do as much as we can. Yeah. Anyway, guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, share with all your friends. Don't forget to eat spaghetti. Let's get right into this episode. Let's go. So, of course, you've had people donate items. I've also got a lot of stuff in my storage to use. So, hopefully, we'll have enough. And the first thing I really want to do is I want to get into building over here. Now, the blood dome is going to be over here. It's going to be like an oval. And it's only going to be more of a, like, a bloodish dome arena thing. Because in the medieval times, they had, like, these pews that lead into the center where they'd fight. And there'd be a booth where the king or queen would sit. It's not like the normal blood domes you're thinking about and it's not really a stadium however i'm gonna try to get it to work because i i have this amount of space and i have to build a blood dome yeah yeah i i, I know it's probably going to be renamed by tef tef the leader of the entertainment district but until then they've hired me to create a giant dome one for pvp for all the family everybody loves pvp and all the family <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to take this space and turn it into, well, we have a sand pit. You see, <laughs> a sand pit. Yeah. This is where they're all going to fight. They're going to run around here trying to kill each other. I'm going to put up some uh, ruins on each side and a cactus or two. But you're not going to have much space to fight in it. You have to kind of like really go at it. You know, it's, it's going to be a small space to jump around in because uh, that's what it used to be. Uh, the, unless you go to the Roman times, the gladiators and the Colosseums. This was kind of like one of those show show stalls, the, the show stadiums, you know? And they put it in fairs and stuff. That's the medieval times. Well, would you looky here. We have a beautiful arena. So they're going to fight to the death here, right here. There's going to be blood and splattered. Actually, I'll probably get some redstone later and splatter it all over here. Uh, the, the king slash queen, well, queen, is going to be watching from over there. And we have all these pews to look and watch from, which I think is, is really special. You know, you, should, you have to have places to watch things from, especially murder. Does that look taller than that one? Does that look? I think, I think that's taller. Oh, well, I like this. This is very much like more of the medieval evil style it wasn't about having a giant stadium it really was like up close and personal and i i think i think the blood's gonna be a nice touch the blood is gonna be a wonderful touch oh it's Delic. Delic, do you like blood uh not really oh the blood's gonna be a nice touch though right uh well it's a blood dome thing so i'm assuming, yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna have blood everywhere. It's gonna be perfect. I mean, it's in the name, so... Exactly. It's right in the name. See, Zetlik knows. Uh, so what what, what I'm gonna do uh, is probably step away from this one. Uh, we're going to start making pathways, because we're going over here to where the horse race is gonna be set up, and I'm gonna have to make a giant kind of like a, a, a platform over here, and then one over near the water, and then one over there. So we need three platforms where the race is go- two where the race is gonna go through, and one where it's going to start and finish. So that's going to be a lot. That's going to be a, a lot. Yeah. Not that I'm not excited about building. It's just going to be a hell of a lot. Also, I, I know I, I, uh, I, I know that uh, we have thieves around. Thieves. Thieves are stealing stuff. Thieves. Yes. Thieves. Oh, it's awful. It's awful. Oh, no. Yeah. It's, it's, I, I hope that uh, I hope that I never bump into one because I'll give one of these. Eh, eh, and one of those. Eh, eh. Oh, no. And one of these. Yeah. I mean, I got my katana, but I'm not good at fighting. It's very cute. Um, but yeah, I, I, we also, I've also got to build a theater. And um, I'm going to build some little baby stalls around here too. In between the uh, three three uh, places, you know? It's going to be perfect. Are the stalls for babies? What? No, they're tiny stalls. They're not babies for babies. No, no, no. Uh, what would be they be selling? Oh, diapers? Dirty diapers? I, I don't know. Gross. Just gross. <laughs> 
Okay, so we're gonna go to the path next just so I know where in what direction everything's going to be So we're going to use a mixture of andesite and smooth andesite to just put a path around here I'm gonna go three by three go all the way up here I'm gonna go all the way around the fountain and then on that that direction now of course as you know I already had the pieces here of course I did forget to bring a shovel, but now nah, it's, it's not that bad. It's not that bad So we're gonna pop these all in like a tic-tac like, 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 like a, a little baby tic-tac uh, like like a uh, uh, you know, you know the, the, not a baby's tic tac. We're not not putting a baby. I didn't steal these tic tacs from a baby. I would never do that. However, uh, so we're gonna put the path. It's gonna lead up to there and go around. Okay, okay. So, sorry, I'm just thinking. You know, sometimes you have to think about these things. I I have been tackling the entertainment district because the head of the entertainment district, Tef uh, or Tefli, has actually asked me to do so. Tefli doesn't consider themselves a hunter. They're more of a redstoner or like. A, a, a mechanic sort of mechanical sort of thing they like the game mechanics and they like look into it and test the the limits they're kind of like Zoomavoid from a Hermitcraft. And uh, yeah, they, 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 they asked me to do the building because I am the carpenter of the town. And I said, sure. And of course, we've already got one down and uh, soon we're going to get another one. So I'm, I'm super excited about this. I, I, it's such a big project for me. Oh, and to do it in one episode is a big ask. Getting three major things done in one episode. However, the horse racing stuff, uh, I'm only going to be building the platforms. Uh, Tef wants to build the actual horse racing course. That should be really cool. Uh, I hope I hope it is. I hope it turns out good. Uh, and uh, I cannot wait to you know get all the horses ready and everything like that. Get the saddles and what if we saddles. Uh, and and hopefully hopefully we'll have fun. Hopefully hopefully we'll have fun. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But of course, first we gotta start on this path. This path is kind of the important path right now. Oh yeah, the path. The path of Cusco. Cusco's path. <laughs> I can't do a deep voice. That let's be honest. I my my voice is more album in the chipmunks, less uh, Cusco. Oh yes. Not nah, terrible. By the way, I'm gonna continue on with this path. I'll see you in a second, okay? I have finished the path. Look at this path. Oh, it's perfect. Well, I I'm gonna fill in all of this uh, with grass. I'm gonna fill in all the uh, stone, all the coarse dirt. I think I'm gonna put coarse dirt around the edges of the path. But yeah, all the dirt uh, is gonna be filled in. So this is gonna look a lot nicer. So don't worry about those small things. You know, you know, it's gonna be fixed up. I've, I've gotta go do the platform first for the horse racing because I've got three of those to make and you know, it's gonna be a bit, uh, yeah, yeah. It's gonna take a lot. But uh, I, I just, I, I feel, I feel this is important, but we do have to take a step away. Just a huge step, just a small step, just a huge small step. So I have started on the racetrack. This is the uh, platform. This is the racetrack part. And you're probably wondering why it's not like overly detailed and so freaking cool because this is a law server at the moment and we're not we're not spending heaps of time doing building, okay? Like this isn't my friendly kingdoms or friendly designs or noobcraft. We want something that's functional and fun and looks correct. And uh, if I spent as much time as I wanted to on these projects, my God. It would take years. No, I'm kidding. But I actually do like this. I think it's actually kind of cool. Like the little, these are where the horses are going to come through. And uh, we're, then they're going to go that way. And hopefully then come back to here. Uh, we have the roofs that I'm putting in now. And I'm going to put in a tower up there uh, in, on the platform at the top. I'm going to put a little bit of a, like a little bit of a room sort of thing with the ta with the top tower using the same, same stairs as these. And to kind of like meld it together. And honestly, I like this platform. Platform. We're gonna do the same kind of thing over there. Except this is gonna th that platform is gonna have more of an arch, and I'm gonna use uh, stair pieces to arch it. Uh, I'm also gonna be using stair pieces up there in the corners to arch it as well. But for now, for now, we're gonna do our best, our best, our very best to try to make it look decent and humble and cute. Oh, it's cute. Okay, I like it now. It's cute. Y y you know, you have those moments where you're like, oh my god, this is not good enough. Oh my god, it's not detailed enough. But it's adorable. It's not amazing, like detailed oh my god this is my favorite build but it's so cute i love it <laughs> and then the horses will come through here i've got to do one over there and one over there but it will be a lot a shorter and be not as wide because it only needs to fit like a few horses through uh it's not going to be like holding all the things so yeah it's going to be probably half the size it's probably going to be the size of that little one down there uh maybe a bit taller but we'll see we'll see it's got to go around here and over there so uh this should be interesting here we are. Look at that. That's a, that's one over there, and there's one in there somewhere. You can, you can kind of see the lights. I so you go through here, go around there, go through that one, and then go through that one and come back. Wow, that really sounds like I'm saying the racist. Um, these these aren't racist. 
I, I promise this wooden object is not a racist. I mean, I can't really speak on racism, but you know, it would. Either way, I've had fun making these, but really the next step is Tef. Tef's going to build a, uh, or has offered to build a racetrack around. It's gonna be so fun to go through it. I'm gonna provide the horses and saddles. And, uh, you know, the, the, the what, what are they called? The uh, the things that you put around their neck? Leads, that's it. You leads. Um, oh, I guess collars, but you don't put collars around horses' necks. That would be awful. That would be mean. And especially with these horses, they, they are locally grown. And um, we don't allow whips like in normal horse racing because that's not very nice. Those horses don't deserve that. We, 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 we pet them and love them every day. And then we put a saddle on them and we ask them nicely for their consent. Yeah. And, and by the way, I'm not making, this isn't me making a joke about that. I do actually think think horse racing with whips is a bit rough. Like, I, I get the horses probably get used to the situation, but you can get used to feeling pain, but you still feel the pain, you know? You can get used to being broken up with, but it still hurts every time. Just saying. And that's just mental pain. That's not even physical pain. Physical pain, like, I... <sighs> Yeah, yeah, I just had my appendix out recently and god damn that hurt. I'm a young person and, and I don't want my appendix out ever again. Oh, wait, I only have one. Haha, <laughs> cool! <laughs> anyway, racist, yes, yay! Medieval times they had a big thing about, you know, uh, jousting. And we thought about doing a jousting ring, but we just thought it'd be too hard to the mechanically to get it to make sense and make a jousting ring. So instead we decided on a horse horse racing thing, which was just Tef. Tef, Tef at the head of, in, of the entertainment industry. Just Decided on horse racing, which I, I agree with them. I agree with them. She is she's smart and, and talented, and I cannot wait to see what she does with this. I guess the next project is going to be over here, which is going to be the theater. Now, what I'm thinking is having uh, pews where they're sitting here and here, and then just having like a stage here with like a little stage thing, and then just some flooring. It's it's going to be very simple. A lot of these builds are very simple, but it's for events. So I, I if something was to happen, like TNT or someone was to break something, I, I don't want it to be a big deal. You know, I don't want it to be a big deal. I like these builds. They're adorable, but they're they're not like huge and stuff. Uh, after that, we will start putting things in, like, I'm gonna put some, uh, some tents around here, like, some uh, stalls, and then some trees. We're definitely gonna add some trees. It's gonna be really nice, or at least I hope it, it's gonna be looking nice. L let's hope so, you know? <laughs> let's hope so. But next is the theater. We're gonna turn this area into a beautiful theater. Well, 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 would you have a look at this? Oh, it's my stage! Again, I like the idea of an outdoor stage. All the chairs out here, because this is a theater. This is a theater, this is outdoor theater kind of thing. Just, you know, you go behind here and you can come out this side. Oh my god, oh my god. Hello, hello, hello! Hello, everyone! Oh my god! This is also uh, a perfect place for announcements, you know? Gonna come up here and announce everything. Especially when, like, the queen is involved and it's gotta be, like, beautiful bright colors for her, because she, she likes bright colors. And speaking of bright colors, we need some bright colored stars. Some Something that would make me go, wow, pow, bam, splat! Lots of color! Look at that! And, and you guys know I can make stalls because I've made them before at the night markets. These ones are gonna be a bit smaller uh, in, in size. I'm gonna put a whole bunch of trees uh, around here, around the edges, and uh, then we're gonna put some, put some lovely little stalls in the middle. Yeah! Yeah! Oh, we're also gonna fix up this stone. Uh, we're gonna put some grass. Yeah, great, great grass. And maybe, maybe some coarse dirt. So this will probably be the last bit that I'll do today. But all honesty, it's it's going pretty good. I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. It's it's just such a big open space. And I thought, I thought that this would be too small. I thought it'd be too small, but I, I realize now that we're not exactly making huge things because we're not a server with like a hundred people. We're a server, or even a thousand. Usually it's like 10,000 people, 5,000 people, 1,000 people. We have 40. And uh, 30 on this server. Yeah, 30 on the server. And, and most people are, uh, you know, on holiday, so, uh, or sick, or work stuff. So, we'll hopefully see them next season, though. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wherever that may be, or whenever that may be, however. Stalls and uh, cleaning up this land. We really need to clean up this land. Ah, ready for a little bit of a walk? It's gonna be a little walkies. So, we got the, oh, by the ch uh, change out the lanterns. We have some blazers up here, and then we come walking up here into the entertainment district, or the rest of the entertainment district, and here it is! Oh, I love it! We've got some picnic baskets, some tables out here, some tables out here. We've got the blood dome. Oh, I forgot to put the redstone in there. Yeah, I'll do it in a second. Then we have the stalls. 
The stalls, but you can actually set up something. I just like the outdoor vibe of the stalls. I kind of like these more than the originals. And we have all these barrels of foods and stuff because, you know, there's not really a place to have storage. So I imagine that's what it's a good idea. Then, of course, the theater, the outdoor theater. And we come over to here and there's some small little stalls over here when you entrance over here. I know it's not much of a district, it's a very small area, minute, and, and stuff like that. I mean, people could knock down some trees and put a house here if they wanted to live in the entertainment district. And of course, you guys know, the black market is underneath us. I think that's the other thing, like, the black market is underneath us, so, um, it, 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 there, there is more to this area than meets the eye, and I, I think that's the most important part. The entertainment district isn't just up here, it's also down there, so, <laughs> I love it. It's cute. It's adorable, it works. It's very much the vibe of what you'd find in like small communities who have like a law server or a SMP server. This would be the hub. Like this would this would be the hub of a normal small SMP server. And that's kind of the vibe I was going for. I can't wait for the horse track to go in and I can't wait for us to do some PVP. Ha, <sighs> well, in between episodes, I will get some redstone. I'll put some stuff in there. But until then, I think it's time to wrap this episode up. Well, well, we have come to the end of the episode. That's right, we've come to the end of the episode. Oh, yes, looking out upon my land. Oh, so beautiful. And, and, that, and that weird guy up there. But I want to say thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for being here. This has been your friendly neighbor, Noob. I have been Noobert, and we have been playing through Hourglass SMP, the light law server. Until next time, guys, I want to say don't forget to like, subscribe, share with all your friends. Don't forget to eat spaghetti. And I'll see you in the next episode. I hear there are thieves about. Oh, scary. Goodbye.